can't believe that senior year is over. Like four years here just gone by in the blink of an eye. I mean, this is where I met some of my best friends. Here's where I met Michael Jin. Yeah. Oh my God, no, come on, please. He's a little camera shy. <laughs> this is where I got my first parking ticket. This is where I stood outside in the rain at freshman homecoming while the fire alarm went off. Good memories. This is where my car got hit. She's all better now. <laughs> Here's where I stay spaced every Friday. First car. Here's where I watch the football players run around. You know, before and after the real show. Halftime. It's all been really good. Thanks for everything we in North. Forget about me. Don't, don't. Hey Wheaton North, I'm Katie Payne and this is the Falcon Weekly for Friday, May 19th. Falcons in grades 9 through 11. Please return your textbooks, English class novels, and library books to the LLC as you finish using them. All books are due by June 1st. Students in grades 9 to 11 keep their Chromebooks and chargers over the summer. Seniors, the LLC staff thanks you for a wonderful four years of book chats, Chromebook troubleshooting sessions, library check-ins, and more. Stop by the LLC to say farewell and return your materials. See the email from Mrs. Pagoni with, spe with specifics about what's due before graduation. Get excited for summer reading. More info about Wheaton North's summer reading program will roll out in English classes next week. Want library books for summer? Stop by the LLC front desk during finals week to check out. The 2023 International Buffet was a huge success. Thanks to everyone who participated and helped make this long-standing district tradition happen. This year, Wheaton North hosted Northside Schools Franklin and Monroe for the very first time. Thank you also to all the parents and special district and community guests that made it for the special evening. The focus was on building relationships and celebrating one another's cultures and journey. Ms. Morgan wants all of your students to know how much she loves each of you in the Falcon family and is rooting for you as the year comes to a finish. She has been recovering well from open heart surgery. She will be gone the rest of the year, but wants to send a special shout out to Steppers Pep Club and BSA. If you want to send a note or message, please email Jacqueline.Morgan at CUSC200.org. We are Falcons. We are proud. We are North. And now, here's the Falcon Sports Update. Hey Falcons, this is Zach Popham with your final sports update. The girls track and field team qualified four girls to the IHSA state meet tonight and tomorrow at Eastern Illinois University in Charleston. Representing the Falcons will be Ashley Wong in pole vault, Abby Huggins in discus, Kenny Noland in 300 hurdles, and Claire Pacer in pole vault. Good luck to the girls. Varsity boys track and field competed at the Duquesne Conference meet last Thursday. They battled well and took second place overall. Aiden Murphy had an incredible race in the 1600 meter run and took first place while also running a state qualifying time. They also competed well at sectionals on Wednesday this week. The Wheaton Co-op boys gymnastics team took fourth place at the IHSA team finals last weekend. With seven individual qualifiers during the day and two making it to the finals, the team managed to score a season high of 151. Great way to end the season boys. Congrats to the girls softball team with a 5-1 win against Elk Grove last Saturday. Aaron Metz completed a huge milestone hitting strikeout number 200 for this season. Great job girls. The boys baseball team had a 6-2 loss to St. Charles East this past weekend. Come out to support the boys tomorrow against Marmion at 10 a.m. Great work from the boys JV volleyball team for winning conference this week. Varsity defeated Oswego on Tuesday. Good luck to them at regionals next week. The girls' soccer team wrapped up the regular season last week with two wins. Two wins. 
On senior night, Macy Hutchinson helped lead the team to win with a hat trick against Lombard North. They also beat a highly ranked St. Charles East team 2-1. Great efforts by all players with big plays from Marie Kendall, Zoe Bulmer, and Kayla Strong to secure the victory. A big congratulations to the boys tennis team for their conference sweep this weekend. For the first time in history, all seven positions are conference champions. The sectional team heads to Willowbrook tomorrow with the hopes of clenching a state big. Good luck, Falcons. This has been Zach Popham with your sports update. For one last time, have a good weekend, Falcons. The class of 2023 are seniors right now, as it turns out. So that means we've gone through like 13 years of education. I'm actually 14 still. And that means that we've been at Wheaton North for one, two, three, four years. So we, we know a thing or two about this little. We know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two. So we survived. We came out of that, man. Um, we are qualified and we want to give you the best advice. Personally, um, my one piece of advice to the school is that they need to bring back the salads that have no meat on it in the commons. It's really annoying having to pick turkey off of that. Just like bring them back. Maybe you should stop being a vegetarian. Maybe you should. Yep, that's what I thought. Yeah, we see some athleticism. Zach Ray just threw the ball to uh, Ben Shu in the red shirt. Thank you, and have an amazing end of year. <laughs> I would tell freshmen to go to all of the dances and all the school events they could. Luke, what's your advice? You work really hard for the first, like, three-fourths of the semester, and then you don't have to study for finals. I don't think I support that message. Where are you going to college again? Vanderbilt. He's going to Vanderbilt. Who's your favorite teacher? Mr. Mazzoni. Care to expound? Um, he's funny, he's charismatic, he's handsome. Uh, he's got everything in the box. He's a great teacher. Um, you should maybe consider taking AP Bio. Okay. The paninis here are really good. Eat the paninis. Don't take your grades so seriously. Just have fun. But also, with that, your freshman grades do matter, unfortunately. Um, do that. After that, just... Yeah, have fun. What's your favorite high school memory? Favorite high school memory, oh my gosh. Has to be uh, prom this year that happened two days ago. Any advice to freshmen? Advice to freshmen is find the best way to maximize your enjoyment while also accomplishing all your goals. If you're not accomplishing goals, you need to <laughs> need to check yourself. I accomplished all my goals. I did well in all my EBI tests and did well in all my classes and stayed in orchestra and stayed in theater the entire four years and finished wrestling four years. Uh, and I, I've done taken 10 AP classes. 10! I, I managed to accomplish all the goals that I wanted to do and I also had a fun time. What's your favorite high school memory? Uh, my favorite high school memory has probably been flight. Yep, all my time in Wheaton North flight, and also uh, I really enjoy uh, nature walks with orchestra class. Well, do you have any teachers that had a special impact on you? Yes, Mr. Meta, um, junior AP Lang teacher, made such an impact on me. He's such a great teacher, and he genuinely cares about his students, and he just loves Chipotle. So what's not to like? Mr. Meta. I like Mr. Meta because he asks you how your day is going. That's very true. Don't bring Qdoba to his class. Any advice for freshmen? Basically, just try not to care what people think because everyone's too worried about themselves, so no one actually cares about you. So just be yourself and have fun. My advice for freshmen is enjoy every moment because it'll go by fast. <laughs> In the blink of an eye. Yeah. Um, do your homework and get to class on time. Do you live by that? Is that like your um, your philosophy? I do my homework at least once a week, um, every time there's a full moon. Okay. Prioritize experiences in high school over academics because that's what you're gonna remember. Is sit outside when you can um, because it's really nice out here. My favorite high school memory was when we came outside and you can do a lot of fun things in the courtyard and we played Lego Batman. And then for my birthday, we came outside and we played Ninja in the courtyard, which was so magical. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm Christian. To stop feeling self-conscious and stop being anxious, okay? When I did that, I felt great. 
every time we went out in the courtyard during a lunch and when we played ninja in the courtyard with like a million people just so everybody knows at home the cookies they sell in the commons so good literally once you go you can't go back so good my piece of advice would be always have snacks because lunch is one period but snack time is forever and I just really think that no matter what class you're in, some classes don't eat in some classes, like gym, obviously, can eat in gym. English, if you have a bag of cereal, your life just becomes increasingly better. It just, days with snacks are good days. First of all, my advice is, don't say hi to your brother in the hallway. You will regret it and he will make a fool of you. This is real advice. Park in the front in the angled spots, not the back. Your car is about 80 times more likely to get hit if you park in the back because those kids back there do not know how to drive and you need to look out for yourself. My car did get hit while I parked in the front, <laughs> but it's still safer than the back. <laughs> Become friends with the English teachers. The kids, no. Mr. Padera, no Mr. Liedemann, Mr. McQuaid, Mr. Bellini, Straw, Final exam cram is Wednesday, May 24th in the LLC from 2.30 to 5.30 for students to prepare for final exams. Teachers and tutors will be available to answer questions. Pizza will be available for those who signed up. Use the QR code on the posters around the school. The following seniors were recognized as TCD's annual senior awards last night, last week. Ian Brown for Outstanding Senior in the Emergency Medical Technician Program. Alton Chapman for Outstanding Senior in the Auto Body Repair and Refinishing Program. Zane Merrifield for Senior Achiever in the Computer Information Systems and Game Design Program. Travis Papievis for Outstanding Senior in the Automotive Technology Program. Luke Rominski for Senior Achiever in the Automotive Technology Program. Sydney Terpstra for Outstanding Senior in the Auto Body Repair and Refinishing Program. And Sydney also received the Illinois Principals Association Senior of the Year. Congratulations, TCD seniors. Attention all Falcons. Don't miss your chance to attend Art in the Park this Sunday, May 21st, from 1 to 5.30 p.m. at Memorial Park in downtown Wheaton. The event is completely free and will showcase a selection of music, art, and dance from Wheaton North's finest. No tickets necessary, just come and go as you please. Don't miss this amazing event. Congratulations to Annie Sullivan on qualifying for the National Speech and Debate Tournament. Annie and Ella Hiles will compete in Phoenix, Arizona starting on June 12th. Go Annie and Ella! Thanks Katie and Michael. Thank you 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 Katie and Michael for your great leadership this year. Good morning, Falcons. Good morning, Falcons. Good morning, Falcons. Good morning, Falcons. Hey, Falcons. Hey, Falcons. Hey, Falcons. Hey, Falcons. Hey, Falcons. One of my favorite memories of Mr. Biskin would probably be seeing him at marching band competitions and knowing that he's very supportive of the performing arts at our school. Um, I remember last year seeing him at the Naperville Central competition and then in the previous year we saw him at Providence Catholic and at State and uh, we all kind of thought it was very cool that he drove the two and a half hours to see us at State. I've always really appreciated Mr. Biskin's like involvement in the school. I've always noticed that he's been really involved in the arts and theater. He's always come to shows and stuff. Mr. Fiskin was when he did push-ups on the push-up board. 
Um, I just thought it was super fun because I don't know how that tradition came to be, but it was fun to see him getting in the Falcon spirit and just, just it was so much fun to see him love football as much as we did. We are Falcons. We are proud. We are North. This has been Katie Payne. Thank you, Falcons.